Avengers Assemble! The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm starting a new little series. And this is Fun or Forget It. And the first game I'm doing in this series is this. The Nintendo version of Captain America and the Avengers. This game is different than the other ports on other consoles. It's a different game. And thought I would talk about it and showcase some gameplay. Let's check this out. Alright, here we go. This is my physical copy I've had in my collection a long time. I actually got this from a rental store, as you can see. It has the number on the, you know, the rental store had some type of inventory system on my manual. And the manual does a good job explaining the game. And it's in color. I actually read the manual in its entirety to, kind of get, to get kind of caught up. I haven't played this game in over 20 years. And so I thought it'd be fun to pull this out. And, I, you know, I have a used copy of this game. My, my card is actually in really nice shape. Nice label and everything, clean. The box is a little bit beat up. And this is an uncommon game. You don't see this everywhere. Box is in decent shape, but wanted to show what the box looks like, manual. And it's kind of funny, this is pretty common back in the day. Uh, a warning, a $5 charge will be made if the instruction book is not returned. All right, let's check out the game. All right, here we go. Captain America and the Avengers. Real quick, I want to say there is a battle mode in which you can take uh, a couple good guys versus bad guys, and it's kind of an unbalanced fighting game. I'm going to mostly focus this on the actual game, and this is just a one-player game mode, so that's going to be the focus of today. And here, simple premise, you know, Avengers in trouble, Vision and Iron Man are knocked out, and it's up to Hawkeye and Captain America to save them. And then you have Wasp. Fast forward this the story, and this is the map of America. So map of America includes 23 cities, and pretty much you have to travel through these kind of puzzle, kind of puzzle light levels and get gems and points so these little pods here is what they're said in the manual and pretty much you can pick you can pick up power-ups through them and so what it is is i'm going to pick up one and i'll show you what i'm talking about this is captain america captain america he can jump and spin he's got a kick okay so i picked up a crystal okay and you go here and these crystal they're not called infinity gems, by the way. And so you pick up these crystals and every, you pick up a hundred and then it powers up your character. And so you can get uh, extra uh, life. And at 200, at 200, you, I guess you have a, a better, your shield that you throw goes everywhere. It's much, much more improved. So yes, this is just a level here. And it's the, the problem with this game. Okay, ooh, I got a big one, that's 10. So it's not that the, the graphics look great. The music's okay. It's not it's not it's not memorable or anything. So anyways, you have to go hit all these pods, okay? It's 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 kind of boring. So that's the that's the first problem is that you know it's just you know if I have like a superhero and I'm playing Hawkeye or Captain America, I don't want to focus on going around a level just kicking kicking these open and and just how how things get released on them you know you get hearts you get points the points are kind of unclear in this game like do they do anything you know the this thing now i can go to the exit now that i grab that there's one on each level you have to grab it and then you can then you can exit a stage and it's just not really clear on uh some of the, the power up could have been done 10 times better now this is 1991 so this is the late release nintendo game the graphics are good. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. You know, the graphics aren't bad. It's not a terrible game. It's just, it's like so many other comic book games, is they were just disappointing. Oh, I need that. So it's just the the platforming. It's it's just okay. I'd rather I'd rather play. There's 
10 other games I would put ahead of this game, especially when it comes to like comic book games. Spider-Man comes to mind. Uh, just lots of things. Anyways, I get to try to get these pods because what, what you're trying to do is get, see, I have, I have 35 now. I get to 100 and then I get more life. I can get a, a health bar, I do believe. So now I'm going to wait here. I'm going to wait for this. All right, made it. And the exit. Okay. All right, so if you're on the same city as Hawkeye, then you can switch back and forth. Pretty, pretty helpful. All right. So you can choose between Hawkeye and Captain America. I'm going to choose Hawkeye. And so I'm going to go up to Mississippi. All right. So this is... So it looks very similar to the previous level, and it's just a different color. And so these are points. There's a lot of points there. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. So that's the other thing too, the pods. I would have rather just like, hey, just hit it once and then release it, because you're gonna be hitting a lot of pods. And so it'd be nice to just hit it once and have it release its thing and then disappear or something I just repetitive hitting it over and over and over again especially the the points in this game it's like eh, I don't know if it matters so I like that Hawkeye can shoot in uh, multi directions he can sh diagonal and up he can shoot up that's very very helpful By the way, I'm capturing this footage on an AVS by Retro USB. I've showcased uh, their stuff on my channel before. And the reason why I'm mentioning that is it's a, it's an affordable FPGA, and I think it does a great job. So if you're a Nintendo fan, <coughs> definitely check it out. All right. <coughs> All right, that's, that's important to note is this. If you have one of... Uh, Captain America or Hawkeye captured and you collect that icon you release them super helpful so the other thing too is that Hawkeye and Captain America don't share gem crystals <coughs> I want to call it gems so you have to collect back and forth and so it's it's and you only have so much time to pick up things it's another annoyance I hate when you have so much time to pick up something and then it disappears. That is annoying. Just showing you kind of the premise. I'm not going to beat it or anything. I'm just talking about this game. It's just, it's it's just mediocre. Like to me, the level design is all over the place. It's kind of boring. Later on in the game, you're going to fight a couple um, different bosses. There's 23 cities in all. You get a message from Wasp. I'm saying it like that because that's uh, from the other Avengers game of the time. So there's many other better Avenger games out there. So we'll play Hawk. We'll play Hawkeye again because I like him. All right, we're gonna go there. All right, red alert. So here we go. You're gonna fight. You're gonna fight this. You gotta fight the bosses. Ah! Ah, oh, no! Alright, did it. Woo! So, my final thoughts on Captain America and the Avengers. Ugh, forget it. I forget it for many reasons. I do not like the level design. I thought the power-up option in this game is kind of silly. Uh, the music is eh. The graphics are pretty decent, but everything else is just one of those forgettable games. There's so many other ways to play Marvel games that are excellent, and this is just middle of the road. It is middle of the road at best. And so forget it. 
yeah, I, I'd say avoid this. You know, especially in this day and age when there's so many games to play, why waste your time with a mediocre game when you can play a great game? And so thank you so much for people continuing to tune in to my humble channel as I march towards 90,000 subs. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm showcasing lots of games from Atari to Xbox. I have many more videos planned. Folks, take care. You're wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock. Take care.